so okay result equal to m2 minus m1 okay out dot print subtract plus result okay let's go I'm going to multiply multiply m1 and m2 okay let's go the result so result equal to m1 asterisk m2 sorry yeah sorry sorry okay okay the output the multi okay operation plus result okay yeah one more yeah okay this uh, divide okay divide divide m1 by m2 or m2 by m1 yeah okay out sorry the result equal to m2 over m1 so out dot print the divide okay the result yeah okay uh, let's run my application what will do will she on the result okay at 30 yeah m1 okay yep yep subtract yeah i guess m1 minus m2 just good multiply okay yeah see what is the result and how can we operate those things okay now let's move to the presentation okay okay before that i'm explaining simple okay first thing i'm going to declare the two variable three variable okay this is a best variable m1 for 10 and m2 m2 for 20 we can define like like this way this way also see i will show you how can sorry i'm going to remove and going to, okay okay yeah yeah so okay okay then i'm first i'm first operation i'm doing result for i'm adding result this is my result value m1 plus m2 okay the result at 30. second i'm i'm subtract from the m2 minus m1 so result is 10. third third one i multiply the m1 as to m2 getting the m multiply okay fourth one result i'm dividing by m2 divide by m1 so 2 okay now let's move on next thing okay here one you know the not, not a simple lot okay when the when an integer and 14 point numbers are used as operate operands or operand operand what is operand this is a call operators this is a operand okay Okay, when an integer and 14 point number are used as operand to a single arithmetic operation, in the result is, is a floating point. Yeah, that's a that's a simple uh, note. So when we use the integer value and floating value to the operation for operand, the, so result will become as a floating point, not as an integer. The integer is implicitly converted to the floating point number before the operation takes the place. So this is a, inside the compiler. So they, they had a one condition so if we define and if we work with the floating point and integer the result will be a comma at the floating point why they are converting to the before do the operation to the integer value okay yeah increment and decrement operators this is another good one so see plus plus this is an array increment an array, array increment operator this is the decrement operator minus one Okay, the increment and decrement operators are increase and decrease the value stored in a number of variable by one. Say, I'm, I have a value called x. Okay, x. So, when I call plus plus, x plus plus is increment one by in the next line. I will show the demo. Okay. Yeah, see here. The count equal count plus one increment value of the count by one equivalent to plus plus see we can do like this like this way or this way both are same okay 
yeah so, okay now this example wow this summary okay plus plus if you use a plus plus for uh, its integer or x or x value or x uh, variable that is an increment by one value evaluate to the of x before is worst increment okay plus plus if you put a plus plus x then it's before after in reverse increment so it's immediately increment increase the value okay increase the value okay the minus mi minus minus okay it's also decrement the by value before the worst increment this is after okay increment and decrement operator continue okay so the increment and or decrement operators can be placed before after operand yeah we can do whatever place okay i will show the demo okay when i use a before and before when i when use used a before and operand it case the variable to increment or decrement by one and then the new value just this expression which is appears say if we use okay i will show the example okay this you can understand see i have a call this one is m10 one M, uh, the integer m is a 10 okay see now i am going to increment m1 plus plus okay when i when we are do this now when we do the calculation or whatever for this okay result i am going to again to do the result m1 asterisk plus m okay so out now i am print what will happen after before used x plus plus okay yeah. now result c result will come will come like okay now run c sorry yeah sorry sorry uh, not formatted okay now run see now is m is earlier i am defining is m is 10 m1 is a 10 so when i call the m1 plus plus it's increment here in the next line i mean here 11 so when i call the add operator this uh, m1 plus m2 is represent the 30 okay see if i use the m plus plus okay m plus plus okay i'm using m plus plus here here but here increment but you see m plus plus okay yeah here i'm calling plus plus m1 well, I'm going to print the M value. What is M value? Okay. Plus plus X equal to M1. For example, okay. See what will happen. Okay. Yeah. See, so M1 is plus plus. So this is 11. Now it's 11. Okay. And it's printing 31. But I'm calling plus plus here is the immediate increment here. Okay, so this is a 12 now. Got the point? So we can do whatever, like say we don't. Uh, so you now we won't understand what's the difference between this one, this. Okay, okay. When we call the plus m plus plus m1 plus plus, it's increment this line, but it's it's not like here. Okay, see how can okay. See, 